Chinese AI glasses beat Meta in ways that matter right now, and this month proved it clearly. Two new devices from China, Lenovo's AI Glasses V1 and Rokid's new AI frames, show how quickly the wearable tech landscape is shifting. These products don't just challenge Meta's Ray-Ban Meta Gen 2 and Xiaomi's AI glasses. They expose exactly where Meta is behind, where China has moved ahead, and how the next generation of wearable computing might not be led by Silicon Valley anymore. Lenovo's new AI glasses V1 might be the clearest example of this shift. Instead of copying Meta's camera-first approach, Lenovo created something much more focused and in many ways, much more useful. The glasses weigh about 38 grams, lighter than most normal sunglasses, yet they have a built-in micro LED display capable of reaching 2000 nits. The design uses a resin diffraction waveguide to keep the optics thin while still projecting sharp text directly into your field of view. When you wear them, it doesn't feel like a gimmick it feels like a tiny private monitor floating right in front of your eyes. And this is where Lenovo beats Meta immediately, because Meta Ray-Ban Gen 2 doesn't have any display at all. Unless you buy the separate Ray-Ban display model, which is in a completely different price range, there is no way to see text, subtitles, prompts or instructions inside Meta's regular glasses. In China, Lenovo priced the AI Glasses V1 at around 3,999 yuan, roughly 550 to 560 US dollars, depending on the exchange rate. That makes them more expensive than Xiaomi's AI Glasses and more expensive than Rokid's frames. But the price is going toward a feature Meta doesn't offer in its normal lineup, a bright, readable, practical micro display. When you're traveling, and someone speaks a different language, Lenovo shows subtitles directly in your eye. When you're recording a video or giving a speech, Lenovo shows your teleprompter lines. When you need to check your schedule or read a notification discreetly, Lenovo shows it without forcing you to pick up your phone. It's not trying to be a camera or a social tool. It's trying to be a quiet, efficient assistant for your eyes. This is exactly where Meta loses. Meta's Ray-Ban Meta Gen 2, which costs around 299 to 379 US dollars, depending on the frame, excels at camera functionality. It has a 12 megapixel camera, clean audio recording, and near perfect integration with Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp. But it cannot show you anything visually. It cannot project subtitles. It cannot show text. It cannot show live prompts. Meta focused entirely on creators, vloggers, and everyday capture, while Lenovo focused on productivity, translation, and tasks where visual clarity matters. These are completely different use cases, and Lenovo simply delivers an experience Meta hasn't even attempted on its mainstream level. But Lenovo's strength also reveals its weaknesses. With no camera at all, the glasses aren't usable for POV shooting, social media content, or everyday moments. If you're a creator, or someone who wants to capture your life hands-free, Lenovo isn't the answer, and the battery life reflects the nature of a display product. Lenovo can last up to around 10 hours for translation-only operation, but for anything involving video or continuous visuals, you get roughly two and a half hours. This is nowhere near Meta's all-day usage with the charging case. Meta can go eight hours of typical mixed use, and the case extends it to nearly 48 hours before you need a wall charger. Xiaomi is similar in this way, offering around eight to nine hours depending on the usage mode. Lenovo just isn't built for that style of wear. It's designed for short bursts of high-intensity usefulness. Then there is Rokid, and this is the second major shift. While Lenovo targeted visual productivity, Rokid targeted everyday wearability. Their new glasses, developed with Bolon, look like genuine stylish sunglasses. No thick frames, no obvious tech modules, no bulky stems. They weigh around 38 and a half grams, basically the same as Lenovo, 
and they support prescription lenses. If you saw someone wearing these on the street, you wouldn't guess they were using smart glasses at all. But inside, Rokid included a Sony 12 megapixel camera, dual microphones, small speakers, and a Qualcomm AR1 chip, tuned for low power wearable tasks. This puts Rokid much closer to Meta's design philosophy than Lenovo's. But Rokid adds its own edge. The entire assistant experience is backed by multiple Chinese large language models like Quen, DeepSeek, Dubao, and Jipu. This means that inside China, Rokid often feels more intelligent and more natural than Meta, especially for Mandarin-based tasks. Rokid priced these glasses at 2,199 yuan, around 300 to 320 US dollars. That places them below Lenovo's price point and slightly below Meta's mid-range pricing. Xiaomi's AI glasses often sit around 1,999 to 2,299 yuan, roughly 270 to 330 dollars. So Rokid sits right in the middle, more premium than Xiaomi, more affordable than Lenovo, and competitively priced against Meta's camera-first offerings. What Rokid does better than Meta is comfort and invisibility. Rokid's frames are lighter and look more natural than Meta's Ray-Bans, which still carry a bit of tech product thickness. Meta's frames are designed by Ray-Ban, so they look good, but they are still thicker than normal sunglasses. Rokid's frames because they were designed with a fashion eyewear company. Feel more like a pair of ordinary glasses you would wear daily, even without electronics. For people who want AI without looking like they're wearing a gadget, Rokid is a better answer than Meta or Xiaomi. But Meta still beats Rokid in camera performance, microphone tuning, video stabilization, and global app integration. Meta designed Ray-Ban Gen 2, specifically around the creator lifestyle. Shoot a clip, post it instantly, share your day as it happens. Rokid cannot match that outside China because it doesn't have the worldwide app ecosystem or the social platform access that Meta controls. Xiaomi suffers from the same limitation, though Xiaomi's AI ecosystem is strong within China with QR payments and smart home syncing. This is where the difference between Lenovo and Rokid becomes really interesting. Lenovo is the visual productivity device. Rokid is the subtle lifestyle assistant. Meta is the global creator device. Xiaomi is the everyday Chinese user's utility device. None of these products are directly copying each other anymore. They are filling different niches. But if we're talking about beating Meta, you have to look at where Meta doesn't offer anything yet. Lenovo beats Meta in display capability because Meta offers nothing similar at this weight and price. Rokid beats Meta in comfort and localized AI intelligence because Meta doesn't use Chinese models. Xiaomi beats Meta in day-to-day -day utility inside China because of deep local ecosystem integration Meta only wins if your number one priority is global content creation, video capture, and social media posting. In that category, Meta is still far ahead, and Lenovo, Rokid, and Xiaomi fall short for different reasons. But this month changed the overall direction of the market, because for the first time, China is not following Meta, it is leading. Lenovo pushed micro-LED display technology forward. Rokid pushed fashion-first AI glasses people can wear without looking like they're filming everything. Xiaomi pushed practical everyday features into an affordable package. Meta is still pushing only camera-first innovation. If Meta doesn't expand beyond that, if they don't release a stronger display model or a more adaptable AI assistant, they risk falling behind in the categories that will define the next generation of wearable computing. And right now, based purely on what you can buy today, Chinese AI glasses are ahead in display capability, ahead in lightweight comfort for non-creators, ahead in multilingual intelligence inside China. 
ahead in price variety and ahead in product specialization. That's the real story behind why Chinese AI glasses are beating Meta today. Not because they copied Meta better, but because they moved into everything Meta didn't build yet. Which one would you actually wear? Lenovo's display glasses, Rokid's everyday AI frames, Meta's camera glasses, or Xiaomi's all-rounder? Comment your thoughts below. And if you want the real story behind the world's fastest moving AI breakthroughs, make sure to like and subscribe to Evolving AI.